Hello everybody, my name is Moon. welcome back to Slime Ranch, and now when we last left off, we had done a little bit, not a lot, honestly, I'm not... There are, there are much, there are fewer of my little explodey dudes. this cage used to be packed like a Russian gulag, what happened? Either way, I'm gonna have to start taking a little bit more care of my farm, apparently. We, I'm, my plan for the series now is to work towards... No? D they're escaping! They're escaping from above! Okay, we need... We need to actually spend the time to make sure that everything is sustainable and fed. I also can't have these quantum slimes getting out, so we're just gonna... They eat fruit. Your boy's an idiot. But no, I'm, my plan is to slowly start working... You know, we're just gonna actually take out a lot of these guys. Uh, I'll, I'll release them back to their home. But, uh... Yeah, no, we can't- we can't have this many escapees, as it were. We need to, like, basically make our farm sustainable before we do anything else. Oh, I thought this was just rotted food. So, we still are going to need more food, so I think eventually we're gonna turn this plot into a food one. Oh, hello. I don't even have a treasure cracker somehow. Okay, I know I save a lot of plots down here in case of emergency. Why do I just have a gold plot? Oh, you know what? Not gonna question it, I just sort of do things sometimes, and we hope for the best each time I do them. Oh, that's right, so part of this update was the fact that there is now map. Map is here. It is a good map, as you can clearly see. It gives you a full, like, treasure cracker number, which is super good for me, so I'm gonna do this. Gonna buy it. There we go, we got a treasure cracker, and it's some good shit. I mean, of course, now we're broke again, but... Such is life. In Gulag, such is life. So let's crack open this bad boy. What you got for me, boy? Hmm? Thank you! So, since we're doing slime science, we're actually at a bit of an issue with this, because slime science, it, it take mad plort, my dude. Like, extreme plort. And th th the issue that I have there within such a conundrum... Actually, you know, I think I will make a pink farm, now that I think about this. What's another plort that I need that goes well with pink? I don't know. I'll figure something out. But, uh... The thing is, is, uh... Slime science takes a lot of plorts, and you need heckin' plorts if you're gonna make yourself into the slime science genius, the likes of which society has not seen before. I don't know what to combine these pinks with, you know? I didn't put a lot of thought into this plan, I just- I just sort of ran with it. I don't even know where I'd put a teleporter. Don't get me wrong, I want to make a teleporter, but I don't know where I'd put such a device. So you guys might have noticed that I didn't prototype the quantum slimes with anything. That's because I'm actually terrified of doing that. Cause like... They are escape artists, and I'm afraid that if they get out to a, a, a location that I cannot recapture, we're gonna be having some big issues. Some, like, really big issues. I'll take this. See, the only issue is the quantum slimes really like phase lemons, and phase lemons take an entire tree of other fruits to make. That's a bit of a tall ask half the time. Like, I, I can't get the second harvest of this guy unless I go and grab some pogo fruit, which I'm gonna- I'm gonna go and do shortly, but, like, I just wanted to explain the situation at hand. I think we're safe to start doing the auto-feeders and then working from there. Uh, I think at least. I'm not entirely sure on my plan here. I'm- I'm just kind of going with it. I think we have almost every plort type on the board in this ranch in some capacity, so I think we should be able to do all of the slime sciences that we need to do. Uh, I am getting a little bit concerned though that we've been going for half an hour and I've made no progress besides stabilizing the ranch. So I apparently have the treasure cracker Mach 3, but not the Mach 2, and I didn't have the Mach 1 when we started, so... As you can see, I'm very good at my job! So I have no idea what a map node looks like, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna be flying a little bit by the seat of our pants here. Uh, not that I should have researched it before the Let's Play began, but... I mean, with this deep anyway, hello. Hey! So that's what it looks like. So I have no idea how many of those journals I- I have. But, apparently you need all of them to, uh, 
to complete all the game. And I don't know how to check how many I have. Is there like a journal? No. I don't know. I guess I'll, we'll just have to do a, a, a trek around town to gather all of them at some point. At some point. Here to gather resources and check for map points. Those are my two goals. I want all- I want this map, you know, like, filled out entirely. And I think I saw it up there? That could have just been a mushroom, but we'll wait and see. Mossy Blanket is so big, I don't even know where to start looking for this thing, you know? I- I have a theory that it's out, like, in- on this big aisle here. And that's- that's on our way to get, you know, our- our, our bee stuff and our drill stuff, so we're, we're going there anyway, but I'm still just like... At a complete loss. First up, leave. Okay, spit out your- shoot your goo, my dude. Pretty good. Treasure pod. What you got for me, my man? Make it good. Is that bee syrup? Oh. Have you ever been in love, Beatrix? It makes you feel all achy inside, like a day at the old gym it re realigns your thinking. There's something downright alien. All the things that really mattered suddenly don't. Can't recommend it enough. I agree. Day 63, still no idea where this map thing is. Food running low. Slightly depressed. How have I not blown you up yet, my man? Uh, we'll, we'll come back for you. I, I could have sworn. I could have sworn I got him already. You know, I feel like, I feel like may maybe... Maybe that was an, an old Slime Rancher video and I forgot to save. That's... Very big possibility. Oh, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Got it. Mm. It's almost erotic how good that feels. I'm still like reeling from the reaction you guys had to the, uh, <laughs> to the stupid freaking, uh, what's it called? That, that stupid, like, rich guy video. I don't want to make that a regular thing. I feel like that's a little bit too cringy. But at the same time, I'm laughing because you guys were like, right on heck and bored with it. I highly advise a jetpack and whatnot. Okay, uh, so I think now... Let's drop the drill here. And the apiary here. Oh no, so scary! Whoa! What? How long have you been here? Okay, so we found two Gordos that we need to take care of in the next episode or two. Y'all need to get off my tits. Thank you. Envious of how calm and relaxing the slime sea looks. I, I tried for like a week and a half straight to replicate that effect in Unreal. Even using write-ups from the, the Slime Rancher devs themselves. And I just, I just couldn't get it. So props to them. For being really good with the shader code. I know they use that one plugin for Unity that makes shaders operate a lot like Unreal's, but still, it's very impressive regardless. I like that Slime Science gave reason for pink plorts to be something that you spend time farming. You know, I always thought, like, how silly is it that we have no use for this uh, pink guy anymore and he's just everywhere? Hello. I built this lab after meeting a slime scientist and learning about the wonders of plot technology. I figured it'd be fun way to tinker on rainy days and nearly blew myself up. Okay, I already like this. Okay, so now we just head on through the temple, straight to the second point of Anubis. And then from there, we go to the desert, grab our stuff, maybe a few plants, and then we leave. Hey, treasure pot, how about that? Oh shit, we gotta explore this place for the map. A star f okay. I like that, but we gotta- we gotta- we gotta hunt down the map first. There's also a Gordo in here that I'm now remembering exists. There he is. There's that boy. Oh shit. What up? I have a feeling that the map thing is across this small gap. I don't know why I have that feeling, as I have nothing that supports this theory, and in fact it looks like it was wholesale wrong. But sometimes you gotta go on your hunch and hope it works out. Hey, it's another Dangle Bits! Hello! Dangle Bits. The strange glass doors are a good reminder that you can't always have both. Hit that switch and it'll open both doors. Sometimes you gotta choose one path or another. Life is full of these. Yes, thank you, metaphorical man. I appreciate that reminder. 
Hey, there it is. Found it. Okay. Thank gizzity gosh. I was getting so sick of looking. Oh, it was right near where I needed to go. Shut. I'm so happy that we can open up these treasure pods with, like, complete indifference. Like, the advanced Gordo snare. For the more advanced snare that with less random results, bait it with food and weight. Okay. I think we want a master Gordo snare to get the Goldie. Oh! The ruins used to be some kind of warp station, but whoever created it to connect one of the most distant corners far from range. Be careful. It's truly untamed. Okay. I'm into it. Let's do it. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm acting like it's the first time we've been here. This is like our fifth trip in. This is some weird, unsettling and unnatural beauty to this place. It's a little bit like Skya, in a way, to my understanding. Because all of the music surrounding Skya is either extremely beautiful or extremely unsettling. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm referencing an old fandom that I, I used to make fun of a lot. But I've sort of grown up from that. Bees are awesome. Thank you for agreeing with me, Pepper Jam. And Buzz Wax Aldrin. Or would it be Wax Buzz Aldrin? The world may never know. I just want to fill out the map. That's my goal for this episode. Stabilize the farm. Check. Get map. Check. I thought we opened this door. Shit. Watch the map be behind that door. Like, just, just, just watch. That's where it is. So we can't complete our goal this episode. You know what? Sometimes I should just learn when to close my mouth. Whoa, 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 what are you? Hold on. I've never been up there. I didn't even know that place existed. We're getting closer. Must have been one heck of a good scorcher that caused these, all these glass formations. They always look like the flames to me, like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. Then again, maybe they, these are flames burning away, but at a pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps it does as two different times overlapping one another and we are stuck here in the middle of that. Wouldn't it just be wild? Yo. So it's right across here, it looks like. Well, let's keep reading old Herbert's shit. I'm a little bit concerned we're not going to be able to get in there. Quite a sight to gaze upon the sand sea out there. No, I've scoured every corner of the desert and everywhere I look, the sand sea stretches to the horizon. Makes you just wonder where on the heck the far fair range is when the slime sea is nowhere to be found. Excellent question, my man. Please let me land on this. Yes! I don't remember this place being here. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there are two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because a, ah, because a search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched secrets in the ancient ruins and it led here. This place is my ticket to go even further. The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond that was the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door. I, I met Thor and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. Oh. I assume he chose love, because it's the engine is still here, right? I chose my door, I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I had seen in my life. I stepped into the platform, my heart racing. Nothing? Wind chimes. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure. But it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been and headed to Thor's ranch. Looking forward to hearing the sounds of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before. Never known anything like it. It's time I got to knowing what the fuss is all about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head and let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. That's weirdly touching. 
How do I get to space? At this point, at this point, I'm sick and yet aroused. I want to go to space. This is a cool area, though. Like, genuinely, this is like super neat and rad. There's got to be a way to get up there. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't want to ruin the moment, but at the same time, there's got to be a way to get up there, and I'm going to find it. Y'all know me. Captain B likes to fly around and discover new lands and areas that devs do not want us to go to. I think the path is over here to get up. Uh, but that, that might just be a straight dip in the sand sea. Hmm. Doors like these... No, no, because I'm not done adventure mode? So there's something I'm still missing. But I found Hobson's final journal. Hmm. There's definitely a lot that I'm not getting here, but I'm sure we'll understand it in time. Cause Slime Rancher, baby, it's starting again. It's weird. I know it's intentional that Beatrix and, uh, you know, the former proprietor of this ranch both left the people they love to come to the ranch. One found love on the ranch and stayed. But Beatrix has or had Casey. And it looks like we're going to be leaving. Because I'll be honest, I want to see where this warp pad goes. That's a tar. I don't like that. I don't like that in the slightest. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's really weird. I wonder if Casey would be into my dank slime collection. Now we should, we should really get back to the ranch now. Okay, looks like the boys are still eating. So uh, that's good, we don't have any rebellions to quell. But let's just get this one last map node and just go, I guess. It feels almost unceremonious to not end the episode on Hobson, but... What can I say? I had a goal, and we haven't achievabled it yet, and we need to. So all that's left is the Indigo Quarry, I think. What is that? Why is there that massive landmass? I need to go there at some point. Wow, look at that, we, f <laughs> we found the map! I expected that to take a little longer. I'm, get, I'm gonna be honest with you. So that's gonna do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the side, there's gonna be more. So everyone subscribe, stick around, become a luminary, leave a like if you're so inclined, comment if you want. Check all the little links down below. They've got a lot of different places where you can bug me at. And as always, I hope to see you in the very next video. Deus Volt! And goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -mm -mm.